Built by Prisoner of Wars? Yeah, I think, I think it was. Prisoner, prisoners, prisoners of, of war. war. Yes. Oh. Al's just taking us up to something quite interesting to do with the Second World War. We're in, um, where about are we? We're in near Chiddingston. This is Chiddingston Causeway. Chiddingston Causeway. And we're going, oh yeah, Chiddingston. And we're going up here. Lovely open countryside. Oh, is that a, a pillbox? Oh, it's a pillbox. Ah, okay, well that's, stand by on that one. The Church of oh. St. Luke. Church of St. Luke's over there. Might have a quick look around, it looks a very modern church though. So what, what's so special about this place then, Mr. Piddington? Well this used to be um, an airfield, it was used in World War II. Um, there's, I don't know if you can see at the top of that building over there. Yes, yep. That's the old hangar mm -hmm. for the airfield. Oh okay. And this was actually an airfield in World War II, but before that, in the 30s, this was an airfield for aircraft that couldn't land at Croydon because of the fog. They would have landed here. Right, Croydon Airport near me. Yeah. yeah. Sort of a, and there's a pub over there on the end of that. Mm -hmm. And that used to be the quarters for the flying crew. Oh, right. Up in the back there. An old military base over the back of those trees that was used for searchlights, um, building searchlights and things like that. So how big is the field then? Would it go? It's, yeah, yeah. Take a walk up here and you probably have a look. Obviously back then they didn't have jets. Is so. this like a lost airfield? I mean, it's not really lost because people know it's here, but is it yeah. sort of what you call a lost airfield? Yeah. I, I mean, most so, people walking yeah. through here wouldn't know that it used to be an airfield. No, no, most people wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, did it see a lot of action? Did it see a lot of planes landing here, would you think? Hard in the say. war, they did use it as a, as a main airfield. Okay. Along with Big Inn and Croydon. Yeah. It would have been a grass fit airfield. But there was there was a lot of grass airfields around mm. in, in World War II. It's full of sheep now. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, That's pillbox. Another pillbox. Got a little pillbox in there. Actually, can we get down? I'm going to have a quick look so we can get, get down. Yeah, little pillbox there. So, yeah, pillbox. But it's very dark. Little reminder. Rough on the Kent wheels. Yep. Yeah. Thank goodness I'm slim. Well. Because obviously the, it's a dip here. Yes. Go to the other side of there. It dips. Dips away. So most of this. Oh, I see, yeah. What's this? Oh, tank stop, yeah. Yeah. This here would have been the main airfield. Mm. So they would have come in that way, probably. Across. Oh, right. No, I thought they'd come in. No, well, they might have used this mm -hmm. way, but it, it does go around the corner there, that field. Right. So you probably would have had an airfield going sort of that way. Built by Prisoner of Wars? Yeah, I think, I think it was. Prisoner, prisoners, prisoners of, of war. war. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, the hangar would have been... That's extraordinary. I mean, say, so this is a nice little pathway going through here. I'm sure a lot of people don't even know its former use. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah, because obviously this dip, dips too much here, so it would have been... This would have been... The edge of the airfield. Yeah. So we just passed a couple of walkers who probably didn't have no idea what this uh, site was useful. Yeah, remember Al showing me this in the middle of the night, I think, was he come back from a paranormal investigation or something? And we just walked up here to have a look. Okay. Gonna go up and look at the hangar. The one we were talking about earlier that was we think was built by uh, POWs. Okay. There it is. Can't go in there, he's on private property or not, but... Well, yeah, it is, but... Well, yeah. 
the old hangar. Wow. World War II hangar. Some of the corrugated irons a bit weathered now, but yeah. But still history. Still history. I don't think the brickwork would have been there. Yeah. But it might have been. Yeah. But if it was if it was a hangar for aircraft, it wouldn't have been wide enough. No. Thanks Al for taking us round and telling us about the lost airfield from World War II. Hope you enjoyed the little video. Please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you've got any more information about it, which would be very interesting to know. And we'll see you next time.